Hi, this is Cassandra McKissick. I am here today with Rainy Howard. She is an awesome entrepreneur, a mother, a wife, and she has so much to offer the community. She just got through speaking on Sisters of Hope, her organization for young people. So Rainy, tell us about yourself. Oh, wow. Well, what can I say? I'm a regular, ordinary person, had a vision. I just wanted to help the youth, help young girls to build their self-esteem. I followed that dream and my life has changed since then. Just from putting myself in the mindset of focusing on others instead of just about me, and I began to see my life just change. Wow, that is awesome. How did you get the courage to step forward? I meet so many people, Rainy, who say, gosh, you know, God told me to do this, or I have an idea about that, and it's five years later, 10 years later, they still haven't moved on it. What would you tell our audience the thing that they could do to move forward? Well, I would say, I'm, I think many of our audiences, I think a lot of you have the courage. Sometimes the thing that holds us back is consistency. So whatever it is, I would just encourage you all to just think about what can you do consistently. One thing, one simple thing, when I started my nonprofit, it was one hour, one day a month. And I was consistent. I faithfully made sure on the third Friday of each month at 7 p.m. I was going to have a meeting for girls. And just being consistent, you will see great things happen. And start small. Don't try to plan a huge uh, summer camp your very first time and never having a meeting. I would say start small and be consistent. You can do great things. Awesome. Well, you know, Rainy, um, I heard your testimony earlier when you were speaking about um, working with young people and how that happened, how you and your sister had been praying mm -hmm. and God just put that in your heart and you ran with it. Mm -hmm. And it started out small because you started with uh, how many young girls? It was, well, actually our first meeting, it was 11 young girls, okay. <laughs> and I, I thought that was too much for me at the time. I was expecting maybe three girls, but um, I, I've seen my organization grow tremendously to now helping thousands of girls globally, Africa, different people from all over the world. So now I'm able to inspire and to assist more, and it's, it's something, it starts small, just one, one consistent um, meeting once a month and look at where I am today. Awesome. Yes, you have done a tremendous job and now you're also including um, young entrepreneurs and people that want to go further in their business and you are impacting leaders and so how did that come about? Well, and I'm glad you asked because really what I saw is I saw a need. I began to do different things with the youth and transform my nonprofit in a small, short amount of time. I've only been in business for six years now. And I, I began to have different people come to me asking me, how can I start a business? What do I do? I just had different people asking me, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I found myself helping and coaching um, various people on business related issues. And so, um, just being a speaker and entrepreneur, I, I, I saw that having these events, well, I was already good at putting together events for my fashion shows with my nonprofit, but having these events and conferences were also helping develop entrepreneurs wow. and, and create more revenue for our economy and grow what we're doing. So. Oh, it's awesome, awesome. So, and I'm sure it helps to have a supportive husband. Oh, yes. and you have two yes. beautiful children, and you want to tell us about them a little bit? Oh, yes, I love them dearly. My <laughs> husband, he help, he supports me so much, and I believe whatever you do in your business, you want to have a great support system. You want to have that security where you can fall back when it's hard, when it's not always, you know, have some room to make mistakes. I was listening to Maxine Clark earlier at the conference. She yes. was talking about just creating a plan for mistakes or a budget for mistakes, you know, having a budget for mistakes because mistakes are going to happen with entrepreneurs. And so having something to fall back on, that security and that plan and that person to be your system of, of, of helping you to be able to make mistakes and not give up but support you and encourage you to keep going is so important. Now, how did you deal with... Everyone I've ever met, they always say they've dealt with some measure of 
failure or fear? How did you bounce back to say, I'm going to keep doing this regardless? How do you keep getting back up? Because I'm sure in that early years it wasn't. You know, I get that all the time. time. I, I get it even now. Yes. And yes. I think you. I think the good thing about it when you're constantly challenging yourself. Okay. And you're constantly increasing and trying to do more. You're gonna get those. You're gonna get that where you feel like, oh man, how am I gonna make this? Oh, I, I don't want to do this anymore. This is too much. This is too much. I'm giving up. But I see it's like it happens, and I just. Stop myself, and God shows me like, look at what, look at you, look at what you're doing. Wow. Why would you give up now? Oh and you gosh. know, I think about the song "Mary, Mary." I've come too far yes. to give up now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, nobody told me the road would be easy, and I don't believe He brought me this far to lead me. And so that's that's how I feel. I, I know it's not going to be easy. You know. So you have your faith in God that sustains you, yes. and then you are also bringing in. Um, wonderful leaders like Maxine Clark, who is the founder and owner of Build-A-Bear. My gosh, she had some awesome things to share. You want to recap just a couple minutes to share with the audience? The great thing about her message was she, she said, do something that you're going to enjoy. And one of the nuggets that I got, she talked about hearing someone say, because she worked in retail for years. She was the CEO of, of, of Payless Shoes before she started her business. And she said she heard someone say that retail is like entertainment. And <laughs> Never heard that before. Yeah, retail is like entertainment and the store is the stage. <laughs> and he said, he said, he said, if your customers are having a good time, they're going to buy. Yes, I do agree. And so she, she created Build-A-Bear. She created it to be fun so that when you walk in, you're going to have a good time and you're going to spend money. Because let me tell you, the very first time my daughter had a birthday party at Build-A-Bear, I didn't know I was going to spend the money I spent. But when I left out, I said, wow, I spent that much money. Because you were having a good time. I was having a real good time. Brittany Howard, it is such a pleasure interviewing you. Can you tell people how to get a hold of you to come to future um, workshops, seminars, um, you know, yes. events you do with the youth? Yes, please visit my website at rainyspeaks.com and sign up for my um, information. Go to sistersofhope.org, my nonprofit organization. You can get more information there. And also just email me and connect on contact at rainyhoward.com. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Rainy Howard. We wish you the best of success in the future. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you. Have thank a great you so much. Week.